Hi, welcome back to Whittle Drone Filming. Over the last 12 months I've been uh, a little bit quiet on this channel. Um, I've been concentrating on other projects and things, but I'm glad to say I'm back up and running. There'll be a lot more content coming in the next few weeks. As you can see behind me, um, the main upgrade to the channel is I'll be now filming with the Mavic Air 2 Fly More Combo. Uh, there will be a few videos after that, tech videos, because I've bought an Osmo Action and it came with the Osmo Action charging kit, so there's going to be unboxing and tests and reviews. And I've also bought the Sinova mic adapter and the SciTech cage, which is a nice little addition um, because it's got a cold shoe on the top, but I'll come to that in, uh, in the subsequent videos in the next few weeks. I've also bought um, an extending tripod, the Joby Pro extending tripod and selfie stick um, for use with the Osmo Action. So there's sort of like quite a lot of videos coming, especially with the new drone. I did think about buying the Mavic Pro 2, but since this came out, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Um, and in my opinion, I think it's going to be a lot better as we'll hopefully find out in the next few videos. But first of all, today, I just want to do a little unboxing and a little setup of the Mavic Air 2. Right, so let's get this box open and see what we get inside. All nice and neat, all packed away in the bag it comes in. I think in there is just your, your instruction manuals. So I'll come to that later. Nice good quality bag. There's your shoulder strap. Label. Puppy care instructions. I don't know what's in this front pocket. Not actually anything in the front pocket, so let's get the back, main back part of the bag open. And there you go, everything's inside, all nice and neat. There's the drone itself, Mavic Air 2. I've got quite big hands, but look at that, fits in the palm of my hand. There's the protection for the camera and gimbal. We have your charging dock. So there's the charging dock. Uh, the controller. I'll make videos and go into these in greater depth. Um, for now I'm just uh, getting this all out of its packaging. I do like this controller, I really do. There's your thumb toggles, if that's what you call them. They screw in there so I'll do that at a later point. I do, I do like this, I really do like the feel of this. Um, this has been redesigned no antennas sticking out anymore you put your phone in there you touch your phone in there and this is actually the antenna built in clever clever idea that in my opinion sport normal tripod so like I say I'm going to go into that in greater detail on a later video that was the controller padding at the bottom of the bag. I don't know whether you can see that. Padding for the drone. I'll we'll just put that to one side. And then obviously all the extra equipment will be in here. Oh god, the batteries are tiny. Nothing else in that box. I think I've just dropped something on the floor. After reaching down for it, it's just sponge packing. There's your power block for your charger. 
plug and lead and recharge it as well. And because it's the fly more combo, there's two extra batteries. The only thing I can't seem to find is the props. Extra battery, so you've got one on the drone and two extra in the fly more combo. There doesn't seem to be anything else in that box. So I can only assume there must be another pocket somewhere with the ND filters. Oh, there we go. So, what do we have in there? Yeah, there's your, now there you go, there's your ND filters. We have an ND16, an ND64, and an ND256 in a nice little protective case. There are your two cables, obviously probably one will be for an iPhone, and one will be for an Android phone like my Samsung. USB cable, spare, spare thumb th sticks, so we have two of them spare, so are they in this box? You're supposed to get spare props, and here they are, yes that's better. So in the bag you've got your quick start guide, your accessory user guide and your guide to your fly more combo kit and obviously you've got six sets of props. Power bank adapter so obviously it's something to do with that. What else is in there? So there you have it, there's the full kit. I've got a little bit of setting up to do, haven't I? Right, so what have I done so far? I've just put my instruction in, instruction manuals in there. All the small little bits and bobs, like my ND filters and the charger adapter, etc. USB cable, little the little thumb um, sticks I've put in there out the way. I've just got to attach one of these to the controller. Pull that out. Now there's one already attached, it's now deciding which one fits my Samsung. So I need to swap that one over. Pull that out. So I've taken the one out. Uh, bit, bit, bit tricky, but there you go. It's pushed in, just in there, and obviously that wraps around there. And then, when it's not in use, it plugs in there. But we're actually going to plug it into my phone, and then all you do push your phone in like that. I do like the way you don't have to take the cover off your phone. So nice. Then little thumbsticks, careful not to drop them and then all they do is just screw in like that. Make sure they're not over tight. And there you go, normal mode, to power on the charger it's one press and then hold it down. So there you go, I'll come, I'll come back to that at a later date. So obviously you've got your two batteries, your charging dock, I'll put them to one side, your charging cables, those two cables I no longer need, I'll put them in the bag. And here we go, 
There's the drone itself. <laughs> Obviously that leg pops out that way. That leg pops out that way. That way. And that way. I just can't get over the size of it. <laughs> it feels tiny. And compared to my last row enough the Phantom 3 standard, it's it's it is really tiny. So you got the lights, it's actually got landing lights. Um, you've also got your sensors, sensors on the front, rear sensors. So, cracking drone, really is. I just can't wait to get this in the air now. But unfortunately, typical, it gets delivered Friday and we get 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts, which is just absolutely typical. Right. As you can see on these legs, they're actually marked A, B, A, B. Open up your props and they should be marked. If you look there, there sorry, see it's all silver. And then on the drone you can actually see two silver markings bring that back there that's better you can actually see the two silver markings and that one's got a full silver ring hopefully you can see this on the camera on, on the top of the props there you can actually see a, one's got a, a, a silver circle and one's got a black circle the silver one goes on to the one with the silver markings and then the black one goes on to the one without the silver markings and to fit the blades the props apparently you just push them down and twist yeah it's actually got a marking on there of the direction to, to, to lock them into place so you push them into the gap and then turn and then that's it the locked there's actually a little gap there that you push them down into so that was the silver one this is the black one push it down turn it the opposite direction so the next prop silver markings there's a little little opening there yeah. push it in turn it actually tells you which way to turn just on there so open these ones out check which direction it goes push it in the gap and that's it and there's your your props done So now I can probably start removing all these labels now. I'm just checking that label. It says please charge to ac activate the battery before using for the first time and refer to the quick start guide. I'm going to mark all my batteries up with battery one, battery two and battery three. And then obviously I've got to mark it up with my um, flyer ID etc. Um, this little label here says press the notch to remove the gimbal protector so i'll remove that press the notch there you go and that's how easy that is um, more protective film to remove which is very sticky Another little protective There's not any protection on the, the, the lens itself If you notice on this particular camera in, in, on the Mavic Mavic 2 You can actually see they've actually put a vent on the back of this I can only assume that's something to do with the fact that it's now going to be running at 4k at 60 frames a second that will help with overheating etc 
So it's very, very nice. I just can't wait to get this in the air. I really can't. Um, USB slot on the side. I presume that's for yeah, your micro SD, which I've got a brand new one for it. I'll put that in, in, in a minute. So I think I'll have to get all these batteries charged up, get the controller fully charged up and I'll uh, do another video of my first test flight. That's going to be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it really is, but anyway. So there you go. There's a little unboxing and first look at my new drone. So there you go. There's a little quick unboxing of my new drone, the Mavic Air 2. Um, the Fly More Combo. There will be a lot more videos coming soon, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Help us get this channel going. Um, help it grow. And like I say, there's going to be loads of videos with regards to this drone. Um, make sure you tune into me first flight because it could be quite entertaining. Let's hope I don't crash it. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.